Good morning. It's good to see you today. I hope you're doing well. It is Friday, and on Fridays we talk about how the Lord's Church is different than all the religious groups out there today. I wanted to just talk about the Church of Christ and that idea and why, why it is called that. It is not so much a title as what it truly is, is it shows ownership that the Church of Christ is Christ's church. We are striving to bring glory to the Father through the Son. We're not seeking to glorify man. We, we do not call ourselves after some man like Martin Luther or someone else. That's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to bring glory to some system of government like Presbyterianism or Episcopalianism. It's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to bring glory to ourselves as Christians. It is Christ's church. He is the head of the church. It, he owns it. Remember what he said, I will build my church. It is the church of Christ. To look at the phrase, the church of Christ, it also necessitates, to just look at it, it, it implies a plurality of members. It necessitates a body of believers. And what I mean by that is sometimes when we're talking to people and, and they'll, they'll ask us, they say, oh, you're a, you're a church of Christer. Um, that's, that's not right. I am not the church of Christ. I am not a church of Christ. What I am is I am a Christian. To just look at the phrase, the church of Christ, it implies a plurality, right? To, to break down the Baptist faith, just for example, why, do, why does someone go to the Baptist church? It's because they are a Baptist. Why does someone go to a Presbyterian church? It's because they're a Presbyterian. Why does someone go to some other denomination? It's because they are a member of that denomination. Well, what are we as we come together as the Church of Christ, as we are the Church of Christ? We, we individually, all right? There's an implication of individual membership. We are the body of Christ. We are Christians. That idea is completely foreign to so many folks today, right? They'll, they'll talk about We'll, we'll say, we're just Christians, nothing more, nothing less. That's what the Bible says we need to be Christ-like. And people will say, well, yeah, but what kind of Christians are you? Like, you, you don't see in the Bible that there are hyphenated Christians. There are, there are only Christians, and that is what we strive to be. And Christians make up the body of Christ. Not hyphenated Christians. Christians make up the body of Christ. The Church of Christ that is non-denominational. And what I mean by that is we, we do not say that we are the Church of Christ because we are trying to separate ourselves from, from denominations by calling ourselves something different. Right? That, that's, not what we're, that's not what we're trying to do. Sometimes we have this idea that we need to call ourselves something different just to separate ourselves from other people. That's denominational thinking. That's not what we're trying to do. What we are doing is we simply come to the Lord. That's the idea, the church of Christ. The Lord calls, we come, and we follow him. It's as simple as that. Colossians chapter 1, verse 18, and he, talking about Jesus, is the head of the body, the church. He has the preeminence. Hope you have a good day. Hope to see you Monday morning. Thanks for studying with us.